inquire in this, but I got two e-bikes in the mail today, and they couldn't be any more different from one another. Okay, now this bike is a little bit more special. In fact, let me just... There we go. So this bike is from Van... Van Power, and this is actually the product of an Indiegogo campaign. And as mentioned, right now it's only $13.99, but it's usually going for $21.99. So if you want it, now is the perfect time. And just by looking at it, you can immediately tell that it's very different than Walkie and most other e-bikes, because this looks exactly like a road bike. And that's the main selling point. This is more of a bicycle than whatever these are. So because this is a lot more of an actual bike, the motor is only 350 watts with a 36 volt battery, and that battery is only seven amp hours. But on the flip side, this bike is a lot more lightweight, and it comes with high quality bike components. So to begin, it has a Gates belt drive, which for me is gonna be a first. I'm super excited to see how a belt drive is in comparison to a chain. We have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes front and back. The wheels are secured via through axles. So a super unique bike. I'm excited to crack into it, but I gotta wait for the rain to stop first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a torque based pedal assist. Yeah. Because like so. I said, like once I started pedaling, once I did a full rotation, you could feel the pedal yeah. assist kick in. Man, the handlebars are extremely low. Yeah, this that, is a you know, sporty racing nervous, kind of a bike. Like, so. Yeah, I really like this screen. It's very legible, especially compared to that bike. It's super clean. I'm an eco right now. It's 0.7 miles on it. My battery, speed. So that's normal, tour, whatever, power, and boost. Let's begin, let's begin in normal. Let's see how this belt drive feels. Okay, oh yeah, okay, I felt uh, the motor kick in. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. Huh. I mean, it's very different, obviously, than, uh, you know, regular e-bike. I mean, if you wanted to buy this just to use it on the weekends to exercise, but with a little bit of help, you know, when need be, it's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm right now in normal mode, I'm probably doing 50-50. The bike is also super light, and the thin tires, that really helps to make it more efficient. Let's try mode three. Okay, I didn't really feel an immediate change there. But the bike is also silent. This is really a stealthy bike super light. I could easily lift up the front wheel, just, just like pulling on it. Okay, mode 3 is pretty nice. I can do this for a while. At least on flat ground. The handlebars are extremely low. And the brakes, these are uh, Tektro hydraulics. Alright, they, they work pretty well, especially with such a light bike. A slight incline right here. I'm still in mode three. Let's see how much more difficult this gets. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so the difficulty didn't increase up this hill. I guess the motor just kicked in a bit more. Huh. Let's try, try mode five. Oh, yeah, it's so subtle, but yeah. I'm only putting in maybe 10% of the work right now. And I'm going 17 miles an hour. Not bad. That's a nice little bike. I mean, my back already hurts, but... Yeah, in mode 5, accelerating from a dead stop was... It's very smooth. That's the word I keep thinking of. Super smooth operation. But yeah, no suspension at all. <laughs> huh, very well put together. I like this bike. I mean, it's not the kind of bike I usually get. You know, I like more traditional e-bikes with the power. But it's a nice change of pace. And this bike, this is so different. The belt drive, the super stealth look. The thing weighs like next to nothing. It's super light. But it does have trade-offs, no suspension, no fat tires, but it's a super clean construction. And I kind of had my own type of fun on it. You know, it's a different kind of fun than a regular high-powered e-bike, but...
Yeah, so this was a different kind of fun, and I did actually enjoy it, and I can see this being a great secondary e-bike if you want to use your legs a little bit and get more of a bike feel. It did feel very different. But uh, stay tuned for the channel for more content. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you're still watching, I appreciate a like. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.